Welcome to Win the Day. This is Pastor Nat with your five minutes in the Bible. And today we are going to talk about understanding forgiveness. Have you ever had a debt erased? Now, maybe not a large debt. Maybe it was just a bill that was picked up by a friend or even a stranger. Has this ever happened to you? I've seen a lot of those paying it forward over the Christmas season and on TV. I mean, think about it. When it's that season, the drive throughs are always being blessed by random blessings. There's just something so meaningful about having a bill or a debt paid by someone else. <laughs> I've had it happen, and I bet the same is true for you. But there is one debt. There is one debt elimination that trumps all others. This is what the Apostle Paul has to say about it in Colossians chapter 2, beginning in verse 13. You were dead because of your sins, and because your sinful nature was not yet cut away. Then God made you alive with Christ, for He forgave all our sins. He canceled the record of the charges against us and took it away by nailing it to the cross. There it is. You may have had a utility bill covered, a car paid for, or maybe just a meal covered by a stranger. Every one of those acts of grace, they're special. They're a gift. But there is no greater gift than the gift of forgiveness of sins. Just think about it. When we're born, we are born enemies of God. We're spiritually dead. We have no hope. We have no desire to pursue God. Colossians 1 says that we were God's enemies, separated by our evil thoughts and actions. We didn't want God. We hated God. But God loved his creation. So he sent Jesus to save us. In the act of unmatched sacrifice, Christ died on the cross for our sins. God offers freely peace with him through his son. He canceled our sin debt. I want you to really think about this. When Christ sees you, he only sees a perfect record. When God sees you, he doesn't see sin. He sees a masterpiece. Psalm 103 verse 12 says that as far as the east is from the west, that's how far our sin is. The debt is paid. It's paid in full. It can never be returned or added to. This forgiveness is gracious. It's complete, it's permanent, it's transformative, and it is compelling. So this is my challenge for you today. Fully receive God's forgiveness, and then you gotta pass it on. Many of us today feel like we still need to rub our noses in the dirt. But you see, our forgiveness is complete and it is sure. I challenge you, live like it. This forgiveness is also compelling. It should compel us to forgive others freely and completely. Who is it in your life today that you need to forgive? Don't wait. Don't hold on to that resentment. Forgive them today. Friend, we are all blessed beyond all measure. The scandalous gift of forgiveness is unmatched. So let's embrace it, and then let's give it away freely. When we do this, we will win the day.